All right, guys. So, um, I guess before we start this video, I should tell you there's a couple things. I'm not a camper um, yet, I guess, and I'm not a cook. I'm just a guy who is into stuff like this, I guess. And some friends of mine and I are going to start flamping, I guess we're going to call it, fly camping. We're going to fly somewhere, land in a field, camp, take off, fly around, camp somewhere else. I think that's the plan. So we're all talking about getting gear, and I've been watching some YouTube videos, and I settled on the alcohol stove. A friend of mine got the, uh, like the jet boil. Another friend of mine got, um, uh, he's got the cheaper jet boil, I think, the little piezo ignited uh, gas stove. And I was like, you know what? I was going to go that route, but I was like, let's try the alcohol stove. Um, so I got this red camp for like 15 bucks. I don't know anything about it other than I really don't know much about this. So this is one of those typical YouTube videos. I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to make a video and show you guys. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I got this. And I also got it still, still in the old Amazon packages. I got this. Lodge, this is the six and a half inch skillet. I thought this would be good for me. We're not ultralight backpack camping. It's probably heavy if you're gonna backpack camp, but we're gonna fly around. So I can put, I mean, if I got a hundred pounds of gear, that's fine, you know? So I don't I don't need a hundred pounds of gear, but I'm not a ground counter, you know? I'm not, it's not, I'm not worried about that. But I figured I'd merge a couple videos. I got this cast iron skillet, nine bucks, Amazon. Um, and it says it's already seasoned. We all know cast iron um, needs to be seasoned before you use it. But they claim that you can just peel the label off of this and go camping. Not camping. They don't claim you can go camping. They claim you can cook with it. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm using um, in this. I've already poured. I've got denatured alcohol in there. I know everybody likes has their own fuel of choice. Uh PGA and other things. Is that going? Ooh. So alcohol burns clear in the daytime. So you got to do the old hand wavy and it's hot. So I'm going to assume it's, it's doing its thing here. I probably hit it kind of hard with that map gas, but yeah, it is definitely burning. So what we're going to do is I'm going to peel this label off. We could read the logo, I guess. I'm going to let that heat up. Cook, wash, dry promptly, rub with oil. That's all it says right there. So it doesn't even tell me to wash this before I get it, which is living on the edge. We're going to try it. We'll see what happens. I mean, surely I've eaten worse at like a takeout restaurant, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this just a minute to burn. I think you've got to let the jets ignite. Like I said, I'm not a camper. I'm not an expert. This is like beginner learning channel, right? So I'm not trying to tell you. This is how you do it. So what I've got out here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on here. I'm gonna set that on here. I'm gonna have to find something to grab that because that's gonna get hot. And I'm gonna let it start heating up. All right, so while that's heating up, I'm gonna look at, uh, I guess I need to put, um, I'm just gonna do it like I would cook at home, an egg. I'm gonna put, I got some coconut oil here. I'm going to use coconut oil instead of butter. We can all argue about what's better for you. I'm going to use coconut oil. You use butter if you want. That's fine. I like butter. But uh, I'm trying to, uh, you know, live a little better. So the pan is definitely getting warm. It's definitely warm. Coconut doesn't come off my fingers. I'll just put it in. So I'm on a little bit of an incline here, I'm noticing. I could probably do better here. But it is at least heating it up. I'm gonna let that go for a minute. Let it warm up. And uh, then we're gonna throw an egg in it. I got some eggs. Actually, I do have two eggs, but I'm gonna cook one egg. All right, so I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna go ahead and throw an egg in there. Mm. Oh yeah, 
she ready. She's ready, boys. Maybe too hot, I really don't know. We're gonna get in here though. I'm gonna scramble this egg. Oh yeah, it's too hot. Eggs scrambled like a like a what a four or five. So it's sticking. But it may be super hot though, and that could be my fault. Taking a little off the fire. I say I'm taking it off fire. I'm putting it higher on the fire. Yeah, so I got that a little hot. And the egg stuck pretty well. So this may or may not be the best video to learn how to... I just wanted to see, basically... If I could come out here, scramble an egg, let's scoot that over. Scramble an egg and live, you know. And I mean, I can eat this egg. I'm gonna eat this egg. So what we'll do here is I'm gonna throw this on here to turn that off. And, uh, cause this egg is done. What did I do with my hot sauce? A little salt, ooh, too much. A lot of pepper, I like the pepper. Do I have hot sauce? Nope, looks like I didn't bring the hot sauce. That's all right. That's okay, I got the pepper. I didn't have cheese, normally I do a lot more. I put a little mayo in there, talking about, trying to take care of my heart, and here I am talking about mayo and eggs. Normally I put a little mayo, it makes them a little more fluffy. So let's give it a shot. My first alcohol stove. Man, that's one egg. One egg is tiny. It's good though. I wouldn't die in the woods. No, sir. There's werewolves in the background, hear them? All right, so I learned a couple things here. Um, one of them is, man, that egg was good. It's a good egg. So I learned a couple things. <coughs> I'm choked. <coughs> oh man, YouTuber dies via choked egg. So, if you're gonna do this fresh out of the Amazon package, <coughs> maybe don't. Maybe season it a little bit. So now I'm gonna have to clean this. I was gonna have to wash it anyway. There's a bunch of videos on how to season a skillet. So go through that. Um, <coughs> maybe use the simmer ring. I went straight flame and I let it heat up. Maybe I should have been a little more active on uh, Heat control, I let it get too hot. You know, the best eggs are cooked kind of low heat. You don't want to go high heat. And I went high heat kind of quick, I think. But I'm learning. I don't know what I'm doing here. So this is uh, just an experiment for me. I do know. So, season your skillet maybe first. I don't know. There's another video on YouTube where a guy cooks eggs. I don't I don't remember what his result was, actually. Um, he takes his, I think he does two skillets. Takes them right out of the package. One of them, he throws right on the flame. And the other one, he doesn't. But, um, yeah, that's that. Now what I would have to figure out is how to clean this in the, in the field. If I had this, um, out in the field, if I was real camping, what I'd be tempted to do would be to put some water in here and boil most of that off. Um, <clears throat> see if I could, and then I'd have, I'd probably bring some kind of little scrubby something, water and boil that off. But that was just my <clears throat> test video. It's still kind of warm. On the Red Camp, the Lodge six and a half inch skillet, and uh, 
whether or not you can cook with it. And clearly you can. All right, All right. guys, so I, I, what I was thinking is uh, I just made that egg and I cooked it at warp speed and it was good, it was edible. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this simmer ring and I'm, I really don't know where to put it. But I'm gonna try maybe something like that. Put that over this. See what kind of heat that gives me. And I'm gonna cook another egg on this already cooked egg. Simulate maybe camping, real life camping. Decided I haven't cleaned my pan yet, but you know what? Let's eat another egg. So <clears throat> we're gonna give that a shot. Like I said, this video, I'm not really teaching. I'm just showing me learning. Um, that's really all that's happening here. That's all that's happening here. Get off, get off there, boy. All right. Like I said, just learning. Just learning. So I really don't know. I don't have any idea how hot this is. I don't have a clue. It's melting the oil. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and then I'll drop an egg in there. <clears throat> and we'll see if this works. Maybe I can mark that ring and say, okay, this is a reasonable spot for a campfire egg. I really don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a four on the oven or the stove eye or not. Four or five is usually where I cook my eggs. I could be doing that wrong too. I've never watched a YouTube video on that. Um, let's drop an egg in there and see what happens. Everybody likes a little shell, right? Protein. Oh, you see? Everybody likes a little shell. <clears throat> All right, so it's not hot enough yet to even think about cooking that on the, on the drop. So what I might need to do is raise the heat a little bit now. I mean, because it is not even... Could have waited a little longer. This is what I should have done in the first place. Getting a bunch of that burnt egg up in there. It is cooking it though. I don't know. Like I said, this video is just me basically playing. So for the first time I'm out there, I don't have to be like, oh man, I really don't, if I'm hungry, I don't have to learn as much. I'm gonna learn every time. But so what I think I, what I wanna do Because I want to turn the heat up, I think. This is going a little slow. I think we're probably at like a two heat instead of like a four or five heat. So what I think I'm going to do 
because I'm going to turn that heat up just a, just a touch. Now the question is, yeah, see this handle isn't even hot enough. We're still cooking, but the heat is way low. You know, while we're learning, let's try something here. Let's pull that off. And let's just be a little more proactive here about the egg. I let it heat up real hot last time and then threw the egg in there. Maybe I can just keep an eye on it on top of it this time without worrying about the simmering just yet. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments how big of a noob I am. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably, what, 12? Maybe 13? I'll tell you what, though. At the end of this, I'm eating an egg. I uh, have to come up with a title for this video. Watch newbie cook egg, alcohol stove, cast iron skillet. But it's cooking it now. I feel like we're doing... I mean, see, it's starting to thicken up. I wish I had some cheese. I was trying to keep it simple, though. I'm going to drop a little pepper in there. Maybe a tad bit of salt. Oh, yeah, we're cooking eggs now, boys and girls. Definitely cooking eggs now. So my first meal for the camp, when we go camping, we're supposed to go camping this weekend. My first meal, I think I'm going to make quesadillas. Quesadillas look easy. I mean, you just, I'm going to pre-cook. It's cheating probably. I don't know. I don't know how the camper world feels about that, but I'm going to pre-cook some ground beef and season it at the house, and then I'm going to take it in a cooler, you know, baby steps. And then I'm just going to cook up like some onions, reheat the meat, maybe some peppers. And then all you got to do, I'm going to need a bigger pan though. I was Six and a half inches is not going to be good enough for a quesadilla, I think. I'm going to need like a, what, a 10? But I don't know how you, I don't want to carry all that. If you just leave it alone, it'd probably cook. All right, so let it sit for a minute. Like I said, I'm learning. I can't leave it alone. Bad habit. I, I just can't leave good enough alone. Gotta touch it. I'll tell you what, it smells good. It definitely smells good. Some of that old egg, I guess. This here's real camping, eating old egg. Is that even in focus? Watch it, this whole video been blurry. It'd be awesome. Blurry man cooks eggs. Blur man. All right, so what I'm feeling here is that, I wonder if the, did the fire go out? Did I run out of juice? Ah, oh, boys and girls, I think I let it run out of, run out of go. Oh yeah, we're not cooking anymore. All right, so, learning some lessons here. I don't know, we may learn together here. I don't know if I can just go straight to topping this thing back off. Let's make sure there's no flame in there. All right, it's definitely not on fire. How hot is it? It's warm. I'm going to take it off camera just to fill it up. If it blows up, you'll hear my screams of agony. All right, so we're using, I'm using just denatured alcohol. Had some in the shop. That's what I'm using. 
So see, we're learning here. That's one thing I need to know. How many ounces gives me how long of a burn, which tells me how many eggs I can cook, and maybe case it is. All right, so we'll start over. So this will be a separate video. It's not, it won't be a separate video for the watcher. So should I, gotta let that prime and all that, right? Looks primed. I think all the fire is around the ring. All right, so step one to cooking eggs is you need heat. You need a heat source. That's a definite. Probably the nastiest egg I've ever eaten. No, it may be delish. Yeah, so this this is a vlog. We'll make this a this will be my very first vlog video. Newbie cooks eggs. There you go, critters. Get you some egg. So <clears throat> I need to start. That's that's what I need to learn is measuring out fuel for the burn and knowing on average. You know, it's going to take me three minutes to do this, four minutes to do that. And I've seen some videos. I think this stove typically burns maybe nine minutes on two ounces of uh, fuel on average. I mean, every fuel is going to have different efficiency levels and whatnot. Um, you know, based on the heat, uh, the I guess the methane or alcohol content, everything's going to burn a little differently. Well, we're cooking again. And if I was camping, I'm not I'm not gonna be in a hurry. But I think it has taken me maybe ten minutes to cook this egg. So that's a long egg cook. I'll give it that. But it's getting there. <clears throat> it's a long video to watch too. I feel you. Look at that, now we're cooking eggs. I've said that a couple times. I mean, we've been cooking eggs the whole time. I don't know that I've ever cooked just one egg like this. It's amazing how small one egg looks to me. It's like, is that really what we're eating? Shouldn't we have quite a few more in there? I need to come up with a better method than a do-rag here. Um, and I've got a better method that I'm going to take with me. My kids make these little pot handle things. I'm going to take one of those. All right, now I'm just trying to even out the heat on this thing. I feel like I've got a little hot spot creek coming up over here. See, now I let them sit too long. But those are edible there. They're ready to eat. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bad egg. Again, it sure beats starving. But now I've got to contend with mm, that egg. That last piece I got was a little overcooked for me. But I've had two eggs this morning. So I'm not dying on the trail if I have eggs. You could eat all this too, but I'm not. I'm not going to eat that.
I'm not that hungry. All right, so there's a the video. If you watched it, thank you. Um, if you're learning like me, maybe we can learn together. Maybe you learn something just by watching me mess up. And that's kind of the idea, I guess. Um, things to think about on your first attempt. <clears throat> a lot of videos of experts telling you how to do things. But here's me showing you how I messed up. All right, then. Take it easy.